Today we're in Hania, a beautiful coastal city where we'll see influence of the Venetian and Ottoman conquerors mixed with the charm of Crete. We're gonna take a stroll through the old town, visit a market, and stop at a war cemetery. But first we're gonna pay tribute to a man who is one of Greece's most important political figures. His name is not one that easily rolls off the tongue. Eleftherios Venizelos is fondly remembered throughout Greece. While his tomb is here in Hania, his legacy spans far and wide. In fact, the international airport in Athens is named for him. Venizelos was a prime minister of Greece on more than one occasion. A liberal, he's remembered as the maker of modern Greece. Not far away is the British cemetery. 1,500 Commonwealth servicemen who fought to defend Crete during the Second World War are buried or commemorated here in the cemetery. More than 32,000 Commonwealth soldiers fought in Crete during World War II, and their courage is remembered here in Suda Bay. Crete has been fought over for centuries. In fact, the Venetians conquered Crete in the 13th century. Their influence is apparent to this day, particularly as you stroll along the gorgeous Venetian harbor back in Hania. Don't be shy about striking up a conversation with the local shopkeepers, some of whom sell their goods from their boats. So here we have the authentic chestnuts roasting on an open fire, and I'm gonna see what this thing tastes like. It has an interesting texture. It's like a like a cake almost, and, uh, but it tastes like an egg salad. It must be healthy, right? <laughs> While Hania has the feel of Venice, its Ottoman past is also present, both in the Turkish sector and along the waterfront. The Turks pushed the Venetians out of Crete in the 17th century, which explains why that among all the Venetian buildings, you'll find the Mosque of Hassan Pasha on the waterfront in Hania. Hania is a gorgeous town, perfect for strolling. As you walk through Hania, you can hardly miss the cathedral dedicated to the Virgin of the Three Martyrs. During the Venetian period, an earlier church existed on the same site. When the Ottomans came, they transformed the church into a soap factory. The boiler for the soap ingredients was situated where the bell tower now stands. Before ending your stay in Hania, be sure to take a peek inside the Agora, or the marketplace. It's situated in a beautiful building influenced by the Industrial Revolution of the 19th century, and it's gorgeous inside. So we're in this great little shop here in the Agora, and I'm told the three things you should try and create are olives, cheese and honey. The honey is fantastic. It's a thyme honey, so it's a little bit different from what I'm accustomed to back home. I really enjoyed my time here in Hania. Walking along the waterfront, I was reminded of Venice. And then I saw a mosque and I was reminded of Istanbul. What you have here is the influence of the Venetians the Ottomans, and of course, the Greeks, all set on this beautiful rugged coastline. I loved it here, I know you will too. I'm Ralph Grizzle and I'll see you in the next beautiful destination.